And introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Jirasin Sirak Ratsakun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the blue corner, 22 years of age, his chance, about an 85 cm tall, and burning at an 36.6 pounds. He will record off an undefeated 17 wins. He is two-time ISKA Intercontinental Champion and two times ISKA British Champion, fighting out of London, England. Let's hear it for Alfred Sondershapar! And his opponent fighting on the red corner, 20 years of age. His stance went an 71 centimeters tall and went in an 35 pounds. He will record a 48 wins, the high losses and two draw. He is the current Russian of the stadium, lightweight champion, representing Suratani province, Thailand. Let's hear it for John Parachai! All right, here we go. John Paranshai, the champion. Alfie Pierce from Hartford, just outside of London. From England. Ooh, right away, I like what he's doing, pushing forward. No time wasted here in Bashanman Stadium. John decides Ooh. to go for the clinch. He targets the left side of the body here. Alfie with two beautifully timed knees there. Stabbing yeah. knees from the champion. Oh, right hand there, from. Oh. <laughs> Interesting to see if John is targeting the body because, of course, he knows that Alfie did everything he could to try and make the weight match that shot. That took it out of him, you never know. Ooh. Put there, attempted elbow coming in from Jam. Oh, and again, a solid. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, there from it's John. Taking a lot of damage right now. And John, the champion. But I like what Alfie is doing there. He knows that John has had issues in the past, fighting five oh, rounds and sometimes getting tired towards the end. So he's pushing the base all, oh, but the champion right now with the right hand. Well, looks like Alfie can take the shot, continue to move forward. Now he goes good right to the midsection. Alfie losing his footwork there, goes down. Again, moves forward towards John. Ooh. Yeah, there's no going backwards for this kid. Alfie pushing forward, the champion in the ropes. Oh, the elbow war momentarily. More shots for the body here from John. And then fire off an elbow. A good start here by the champion. Five rounds of her tight action. This is only the very first one. Left hand to the body. Oh, the left hook there. Upstairs by John. Connects. Oh, good move. Another right hand there from John. Oh, nice Ooh. combination there from Alfie. Uppercut right hand. Beautifully executed there by the Brit. I do have to say I like what Alfie is doing. He's forcing the champ to fight. Pushing forward. Yes, Very yeah. aggressive. Absolutely. Relentless here by Alfie. Continuously moving forward. Closing that distance. Yeah, and the fact that he has the weight advantage. Perhaps he knows that if he starts early on, the champion might get tired and tired towards the end. He also has massive height advantage. Yeah, he does. But he's also taking a lot of shots. Yes. In the middle section right now. Yeah, especially to the minute, like you said, in this opening round, from target in the body. I feel like a lot of Muay Thai fighters don't do that enough as well. Mm. There is a temptation to go to the head and try and find that knock up. Whoa! Just as I say, that swinging left up there from John. John again, looking for that high kick. It has to be a very high kick to get up towards Alfie. And John, very composed right oh, now. Right elbow there from John. This is going to be a marathon and not a sprint, yeah, that's ten. for sure. Oh, another left hook there, and a combination, oh, for oh. Alfie! A good round, though, has to be said, from John, as the seconds tick away here in the round at number one. Wow, what a great opening round from both fighters. John constantly on the attack and connecting with a lot of shots from the midsection. 
But Alfie is smiling as he makes his way back to the corner, still in there. Ever fought against. Let's remember that as well. I do have to say I like the block. Alfie is doing a little bit of a Pat Wintry style pushing on early on. He actually told me his favourite fighter is Sexan. That'd be one way to get back into the fight and go, go full zombie mode. <laughs> and of course, John taking the, the first round. He's fighting like him in the way that he's continuously moving forward and eating a lot of shots. He's got to throw back though now. Ooh. At least one exception again there within the clinch by John. <laughs> you can see the champion very composed, controlling the pace in the clinch and on the outside. Beautiful kicks there. Left kick there by Alfie. Nice right kick from John. The attacks attempted by Alfie. Good start to the round here once again by John. That's good, that oh, by Alfie. Using those long ranging knees. Oh, I'm trying to smother him. Alfie not going backwards at all. Oh, oh. Good stepping elbow, left hook combination by John. Alfie again, still looking forward. Oh, he is. Isn't a bullet at all. The right now, John controlling. Yeah. The fight on the outside and the inside. Good position. Oh, that right knee. <laughs> Alfie doing his best to throw right knees of his own. But oh, within good. the clinch, it's all John. Oh, oh, good left hook there from John. And moves him with the elbow. Yeah, Alfie takes the shot. Oh. Moving forward. Yes. Those long range knees. I'm telling you. Now the pathway. Great to get back into this fight with a hundred percent. Great defense from the champion in the clinch as well. But see, look at this man still pushing forward. Oh, and the left elbow. Just like that when he's moving forward and he's not scoring. Yeah, I'd like to see him use his hands a little bit more. Oh, again, beautiful left. Very quick. And right elbow there from John. He's picking his shots beautifully right now. Either too close or too far, or oh, pushing in. Oh, good right hand to the body. Yeah, and Alfie is pushing forward, but not really able to throw anything that is meaningful or hurtful in this second round. John controlling the fight. Great defense here in the clinch. Well, just over 25 seconds to go here in round number one. Alfie connects with an elbow. Who's John Tyree? He's very active in both these rounds. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, perhaps the game. Oh, plan. looking for that elbow once again. A little bit of a rocky style there. But does it bother Alfie? Alfie? No, it doesn't. He continues again to move forward. Oh, left hook blocked there by Alfie. Mm. Round! End of round number two. Oh, good work there by the champion, Dom. We did see moments by Alfie. Some potential there for sure as we move in to round number three. A round, even just a round off the champion would be a success in itself for someone who's only had 15 professional fights. Yeah, absolutely, but again, don't count him out just yet. This is only the third round. And we said it before, the champion might slow down towards the end as... Oh, good elbow there from Alfie. I was going to say, there's something that a lot of the fans of Alfie, Alfie himself, can take from what we've seen. I believe that John has thrown his best shots in round one and two. I don't mm. think he's bothered Alfie at all. Well, we'd like to see what if John... Good left knee. There's that knee that I was talking about. If John slows down and Alfie can get perhaps a good elbow strike or a good punch, then he might have a chance. Well, it's just about concentrating on winning a round. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh. left knee there. And oh. again, those long range knees. He's got a chin on him, he's able to take a lot of damage it seems. Which is one of the things that makes a great fighter into a remarkable fighter. John utilizing that guard then. Tries to trip and goes back to the knees within the clinch. And also you have to admire 
the clinch work here, which is very specific to Muay Thai. Look at the way John is defending that. And, oh, beautiful takedown. Perhaps not as easy as expected for John. The ref says, no, I don't want to take down like this. But that will definitely take away some energy from the champion. He's oh, back John, in the ropes again. John, for the first time in this fight, is starting to throw and miss. Tempted left high kick, tempted elbow, blocks and miss there by John. Ooh. Oh, that one did it though. <laughs> and again, that left hook, he's got to be careful of that outfit. Good right body shot, left hook from John. Knees to the body as well. Yeah, the question is, who will slow down first? Yeah, absolutely. Alfie again, walking over and connecting with a beautiful elbow, but then eats a right hand to the body. Left hook by John. You can see John is starting to think about those knees of Alfie blocking. Oh, good right hand. Alfie grabs the foot. Three beautiful time punches there by John, and I think that might have blocked <laughs> Alfie just a little bit. And Alfie still <laughs> pushing forward. Got a little bit. No quitting this kid at all. John right now, just a little bit quicker. Right kick there. A right kick over the guard from John that connects to the body once again of Alfie. You know, it's interesting to see how Alfie has a very traditional Thai style pushing forward oh, into the clinch. Right hook, sorry, left hook, right body shot there from John. I do like the combinations that the champ throws. Yeah, absolutely. Much better again, round. This is something that Alfie can learn from as well. Not just throwing single shots, but in the moment's right. When the Alfie's there, good right elbow from Alfie, again. It's those knees. He throws a right knee and then he finds a right elbow. A much better run from Alfie, but still the champion controlling most of the clinch for it. So this is going to be interesting. Look Alfie, Alfie looking yeah, very confident He's though. Enjoying himself in there, why not? Absolutely, and if he could win this round, that would be massive for him. It. Don't forget the RWS finals of the remaining welterweight and super welterweight division are up next here on RWS. All right, round four. Alfie needs something crazy if he wants to have a, sh a chance at winning this fight. He needs a knockdown or he needs a loss. And you can see that John, I feel like that's he's going to be a strategy moving forward now, is just to grab a hold of Alfie at every opportunity. Stop Alfie from throwing counter strikes, and of course, it runs down the clock as well. Absolutely, well, I'm point out, and you can see here John defending in the clinch, mainly defending now. As you said, all, all he needs is to survive this upcoming two rounds to win the fight. And you know what Alfie's going to do? Like a zombie, he just continues to move <laughs> forward. Yeah, and I'm not sure. Perhaps if this is the right thing to do right now, getting into the clinch because John controlling. And you, have, right there. and you have to say as well, it is high, 185 centimeters. Mm. I can't imagine. He's not going to be a problem for any fighter at 135 pounds. He's learning to use that height to his advantage as well. You can see that within those fights. Oh, attempted to go upstairs without left eye kick. A wry smile there from John, who appreciated that one. <laughs> or didn't appreciate it, potentially. Mm. Comes Alfie again. John having to fight off the back foot. Good knees here from Alfie. Still pushing forward. Yes, good elbow Zombie there. Mode. I do like that right elbow. Yeah, and this is what he needs to bring right now. He needs those elbows to come and help. He needs to drop John if he wants to have a shot. And so far, the clinch mark has not been working out. Oh, out a strike there from John. And again, look, just grabs a hold, twists and turns out. Oh, <laughs> perfect technique from the Chan there in the clinch. Alfie again moves across. Looking for that right elbow, you can see him. That time, John had it scouted. He then grabs a hold of him. More time. Being run down here by John Parenshai, showing a lot of respect to Alfie here. Good knee to the midsection by the man from Hartford. Just north of London, in England. Ooh. Nice right there from John. He's not enjoying Alfie moving towards him like this. Yeah, no, absolutely not. 
you see the referee's getting a little bit frustrated with John. He's telling him to stop moving backwards. We don't like that here on RWS. Yeah, absolutely. But this is also tough. Oh, oh. And we've got somebody like Alfie pushing absolutely. forward non-stop like this. He's so much bigger right hand there. I was going to say taller at least. John slowing down a little bit, but defending really well in the clinch, I think. This is John using all oh, his experience. Oh, the Good elbow. right elbow once again there from Alfie. I think John. I think he hurt him. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Another good round here. Right, Alfie. He might have gone for a spinning back elbow. Might have connected to the ref. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back hey, against he... the wrong spin back. Right elbow, oh, right here to finish the round. Much oh, better round. Well, how do you score that one? Folks watching around the world. I'm sure many of Alfie's fans in Hartford. Post the photo up on Instagram of how we look like trying to make weight with everything in his power. But as it stands, John Paranchai four rounds up as we move into the fifth and final round here on RWS. And I love the concept not only of the tournament here at RWS, but we have to remember good left hand there from John. Those stadium title belts will be on the line nearly every week here on RWS. Just another reason to tune in and watch this Muay Thai. One of the best Muay Thai promotions in the world. Alfie Pierce, like you see in rounds one to four, continuing to move forward. John, moving backwards. Sensitive right kick there from John. Sensitive right hand by Alfie. He gets connected with a right hand by John. I said it already, but I don't can't imagine as many fighters at 135 who would want to fight Alfie. Tall, strong, can take a punch. And with just 16, well now 17 fights under his belt. He has massive potential. Tempted up elbow there by Alfie. And again, looking for that elbow. Tom just able to utilize his hands and block those. Elbows within the clinch. Just 20 years of age, of course, he's had a lot, a lot of fights. Two years younger than Alfie, but probably treble or maybe four times more experience. Again, holding on here to Alfie, trying to frustrate the Brit. And I've got to be honest, the fact that he's holding on right now just shows respect to the skills of Alfie. Just now talking his spinning back elbow there from Alfie. We've got 90 seconds left on this clock. I hope we get to see Alfie again here on RWS, I really do. Oh, good right elbow there from John, and once again Alfie just takes it like a champion. With a full camp. He's had that same about Osama as well. Of course, the Rajan 135 pound rankings have been revamped. We got to see them. There's a lot of talent at that weight in the sport of Muay Thai. It looks like we're adding to it as well with Alfie. Just under one minute left on the clock here. Coming up next, we've got the welterweight tournament final for 2023. The Ardegrest tournament. It will be Mritiwada Pet Yindi Academy taking on Hercules War Jack Rawut. So don't go anywhere. Alfie again looking for that left elbow. Right kicks in the midsection and left hand there. From a job. He fought well again in this fifth and final round and frustrated Alfie at times. Alfie just continues to move forward. Credit to him and his cap. Oh, what an elbow. Oh, good right elbow there from Alfie. Best shot from Alfie there. As a right smile on the face of Tom as we end the round. Massive respect to the champion, Alfie did everything in his power to take it to the champion. But maybe just outclassed on the night. See, Alfie a little bit disappointed, he's never tasted defeat inside the Muay Thai ring. But he was a massive underdog here tonight, he cannot be disappointed with his performance. So, like I said, big massive learning curve for Alfie with the 16 fights of his belt. He 
that is going to really help him progress within his career and what massive potential he has as we see here John doing exactly what a champion needed to do he performed perfectly in rounds 1, 2 and 3 and then in rounds 4 and 5 he just ran down the clock perfectly executed by the champion I believe that he did win in round number 5 as well for striking Alfie but what a credit to for Sardetchapan and of course to Jai D as well he is well we know what up What's up next in this weight division? It'll be John Paranjai defending against Lam Nam Moonleg, who is sitting ringside watching on. I wonder what he thought of that. All right, here we go. Let's get the official confirmation of the decision. We'll also get an interview with John. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the Director of Office of the Boxing Committee, Mr. Palat Suwanna Metakon. And let me introduce President of RWS and Board Director of Russian of the Stadium, Mr. Bang Tian Chai, Pisit Putinan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, of the five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored is about 50 to 45. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. And still, Russian the Stadium, like Red Champion, Red Ladies and gentlemen, let's have the Russian American Lightweight Champion! 